Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is the top 11 charts for 2011 and we're up to number 8 and we're across the Tasman to see what's happening with house prices in Melbourne. The reason I think this is important is that obviously our big four banks are based in Melbourne and Sydney and what happens with Australia often drives what happens in New Zealand. Now, up until now, the housing market in Australia has continued to be on the up and up. After the global financial crisis, the government there pumped quite a bit of money into the housing market to keep it supported with a first home buyer's allowance. But it's just in the last two to three months that pressure has really gone on that housing market as the Reserve Bank has increased interest rates. And the banks there have actually increased their rates by more than what the Reserve Bank increased interest rates. And you have to ask yourself the question, is there a property bubble in Australia? And if it bursts, what does it mean for New Zealand? Well, here's a chart that gives you an idea. This is a chart of the ratio of house prices to average wages in Melbourne. And I picked on Melbourne because I've got a couple of brothers living there and it's, along with Sydney, one of the most highly valued cities in Australia. And you can see here that from most of the 80s and 90s, it wobbled around the 2 to 4 range. And then, shock horror, something happened in the late 1990s, early 2000s. We saw a big rise in the ratio of house prices to average wages. And now it's up around 8 times average wages in Australia. That tell you, tells you that house prices there are out of whack with incomes. And there is the potential for a big drop in house prices. We'll see where that happens and how much pressure, if it does happen, how much pressure that applies to the banks in Australia who may apply it to here. And obviously where the Australian housing market goes, the Australian economy will go to an extent because more than two thirds of its economy is based on consumption. Again, same old thing, is it an economy or a housing market with bits tacked on? To be fair though, the Australians, they have some very big bits in terms of their exports of minerals and energy to the likes of China. So there we have it. That was number eight in our series of the top 11 charts for 2011, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand.